What's up guys, Zane here back with another video. For this question we have the almost increasing sequence. So given a sequence of integers as an array, determine whether or not it's possible to obtain a strictly increasing sequence by removing no more than one element from the array. Uh, so take a look at this example here. <clears throat> we have the sequence one, three, two, one. Uh, if we were to take out, let's say the three uh, this would still not be increasing because we'll have one, two, and then back to one. Uh, if maybe we remove just the one, that's decreasing. So for this one, it would return false. <clears throat> so the function that we have here is of type bool. So we'll return again just true or false if it's going to be increasing or not. Um, the parameters that we're given are, or the arguments in this case, are a standard vector of type int called sequence. So for all these test cases, they're going to give us a sequence, and we need to tell program something <clears throat> so that we could uh, establish whether or not this would be an increasing sequence. So to get a, uh, an overview of how we can break this down is we would have to loop through the array and check to see if the first element or the ith element is greater than or less than um, the next element. If it is or is not, then we need to check is the element before greater or less than. And depending on those um, that pieces or those two pieces of logic, then we can remove a certain element. And then once that's done, we will have to loop again through the new sequence that we have after we remove something. And then if that is consecutive, or sorry, if that is increasing in sequence, then we can return true. Otherwise, it'll have to be false. So <clears throat> here we go with the code. So we'll first want to uh, iterate through the sequence. So i int i equals zero. i is less than the sequence dot size since it's a vector. Then i plus plus. <clears throat> and then what we want to do is check to see if it's consecutive. So if the sequence at i is we're checking to make sure that this one is less than or greater than it, it doesn't matter how you do it it's just how you uh, how you um, create the behavior for it so what we can do is we can check to see is this element greater than or equal to the element on its right side so i plus one so if it's greater than the next element, or it's the same, <coughs> excuse me, then we definitely cannot use the sequence as an increasing sequence. Um, so in that case, we'll have to check to see, now since we know i is not gonna work out, then we need to see is the one that's previous to i, is that also uh, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, I'll, I'll show you in a, in a minute. Um, but basically we know now that i is going to be our problem, so uh, we need to check again to see if the previous element is going to be valid, so that when we take out the i, will that previous element then be the next element, so will i minus 1 be less than i plus 1, because that'll, that'll make it the sequence, uh, an increasing one. So then we'll check here if sequence at i minus 1 is less than sequence at i plus 1. Then all we need to do here is invoke the uh, standard erase function that's built in. So what we can do is uh, we have to first do the vector dot the method and then some of its uh, parameters or arguments. So here we'll do sequence.erase. Now with this method it uses a essentially it's it's asking us where do we want to start, where do we want to end. So what I'm going to tell it here is I want it to start at sequence.begin and then I want it to essentially end at the point where I want it to remove. So this would be since i is greater than or equal to the next value and the previous value is less than i plus 1, 
which is the next value, then that means if we were to remove i, then this will be in almost increasing sequence, almost just referring to us having to remove a maximum of one digits or integers, whatever. <clears throat> so here we'll just put i. Then we put in those semicolons. Now, if that is not the case, where if the previous one is not, um, if, if that previous element is not going to suffice to make this an almost increasing sequence, then we need something to account for that. So we'll do else, if that is not the case, then see if we can just remove the next element, which would just be sequence dot begin, and then we'll do plus the next element. So it's the same thing as above, it's just we're gonna remove the next element instead of i. Um, and then once this is done, we need to break out of this for loop. <clears throat> now, once that's done, our program will have hopefully determined which one is the correct value to remove and then updated the vector to a new vector, essentially. So all we need to do now is loop again through, I'll use j this time for a second loop. <clears throat> So now we're going to check basically the same way we did it before. So if the current one is greater than or equal to, because it has to be increasing, if the current one is greater than or equal to the next one still, then this is in no way or form going to be an increasing sequence. Uh, even because, um, not even, but this would be because we already popped out a value from here so we can't do it again because the question strictly says it has to be increasing and we can only remove the maximum of one. So here all we have to do is just return false because this will not work. Um, and of course we now need to account for true. So at the end here we just return true. If all of this works out, this is not the case, then our program will know that this will return true. Now I do this at the end because I like to review uh, before I submit, so <clears throat> every time I do something like this, j plus 1 or i plus 1, uh, it's always good to uh, remember this, just subtract the ones from the size. Um, and once we do that, we broke out of this loop, we loop through it again to check. Uh, that should be good. Let's run the test. So there is one that is not working. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so there is negative numbers here. So I'm assuming there will not be any negatives in these other tests. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like that's the only one with negatives. So what we could do is if we take a look at our first for loop, and look through the logic. So we're checking to see if this one or the ith one is greater than or equal to i plus one. Okay, that means that i is primed to be removed. But before we do that, we need to make sure is the sequence at the i minus one, which is the previous element, is that less than the next element? Is that true? Okay, then we can erase. But if we're also at the first element, that would mean that we could still erase that i-th element because we don't have to do the check on the i minus one. So we can do or, so this is the operator for or. If you wanted to do end, you would do the double, wow, double ends. But since we want to do or, uh, if the index is equal to zero. We don't need that, okay. Um, and of course, since we're in the if statement, we need the double equals. Since we're not declaring it as zero, we're just comparing it. So this should work. <clears throat> cool. So all 19 have passed, and that is how we solve the almost increasing sequence. Um, I think the biggest thing here is to first conceptualize how you want to tackle the problem. 
um, because here it took me a little bit to realize that after I finished this, I would need to recheck the sequence because this for loop, all it does is it essentially just updates the sequence. And then this one here is really what checks to see, is it almost increasing or not? Um, and we also do need to break out this here because as this continues, we don't need it to continuously keep checking. We just needed to do it once. So we just break out, that's when this for loop will start. But anyway, I hope that made sense. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe button and like the channel so that I can show you love. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.